Hi, I'm Zach. I'm Allie. I'm John. We formally met each other in 2017. Where we served together as Connecticut FFA state officers. We all shared a burning passion for agriculture. And that's where our friendship began. We traveled the state, inspiring agricultural students to speak for themselves. Showing them how to speak out and advocate for the agricultural industry. Teaching them to vocalize for those who could not. This project is a continuation of our work. Our work to inspire people with the tales of agricultural innovation. To show the world the amazing people of our industry. So that our farmers across Connecticut get the credit that they deserve. This is Complete Connecticut Agriculture. In a world where medicine was prescribed by physicians we never knew, our trust in medicine would be questioned, and our overall health would be a product of guesswork. Our food system should be no different. There must be a sense of trust between all consumers and producers in order to bridge the disconnect within this industry that used to be in the backyard of every family. Every generation is further removed from the farm and therefore less aware of the food production system. Throughout Connecticut, producers are working day and night to ensure that their consumers can put a face and family to their food. By providing us with nutritious, locally grown products, our farms are connecting everyone to agriculture again. Our state is poised to move into an agricultural system without guessing and only answers. As our farm showed us the importance of educating people, we wanted to circle back to the producer's point of view. It was important to understand how our farmers are making sure their consumers are feeling heard and valued. We headed east to North Franklin to visit Mackenzie at Arrowhead Acres to see how she always looks to make her customers feel involved and connected to the farm. Our goal is to capture how farms are direct advocates for every customer that stops by and Arrowhead Acres helped us better understand that concept. I'm Mackenzie, and this is Arrowhead Acres, I'm the owner and manager here. So we try and have a little bit of something for everyone. We grow a variety of different things. I do strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, different kinds of vegetables. We have vineyard, uh, the grapes that we do for the wine. And then we also have a bakery. So we bake all of our own baked goods here, all from scratch. And then the winery, we make all the wine here as well. So I went to UConn and I was a horticulture major and at the time I, the land wasn't being used for anything, this building was empty, I was fortunate enough to have the space and I basically got to decide what I wanted to grow and how I wanted to sell it. Um, so there are a lot of options but I ended up deciding on starting with berries was the big one. The grapes were always in the plan but I knew they would take a little longer. I decided on those because at the time, um, I was still in school, I was looking for something that I knew would grow well in the area that I had. At first it was, those were a, kind of an early summer to mid-season kind of crop and like I said, I was still in school at the time so I'd be going back in the fall, I wanted something I could do for the summer. Um, and I personally, those are some of my favorites. The barn and the lands that were here, originally it was a dairy farm and it was a livestock option and that closed when I was younger. I was looking for something that was a little more, I don't want to say modern, but things that people were looking to go do, people were looking for that we didn't necessarily have in, um, in this exact area. Um, so, the grapes and the wine is something I was really interested in. There's a lot of science involved in it, but also being outdoors. Um, and I knew that was something that, you know, wineries are popular these days. And I had the ability to do it, so I might as well give it a shot. Um, and like for the strawberries, there's not that many other strawberry growers right around here. Um, so it's another small market that I could get into that I thought would do pretty well and we just kind of keep evolving as we find out what people, are, what people want, what people are looking for. We actually do a lot with customer feedback and I am usually, I'm happy to take suggestions 
um, and there's been some really good ones, and things we've tried some that, for logistical reasons, aren't quite there, but, um, for example, in the bakery. When we first started out, things really started taking off. We had a lot of people asking for lunch-type foods, and we like, all right, give it a try. We started doing soups and sandwiches, and now that's one of our busiest times of day, and it's been going really well. So it was a great suggestion. Um, trying to do things that people were looking for. So in the winter, say for example, it slows down quite a bit. So we started doing craft nights and we started a wine and book club. And same thing, it was, people were excited about it. It gives people another reason to come out. Um, but we like the suggestions. We won't always, won't always use them, but it never hurts. So my ideas are always kind of constantly evolving. Um, I always try and have like a five-year plan and try and get to get to that point. Um, so I follow a, a bit of a goal line there, but I again I alter it as I feel like it needs to. So if um, one area, I guess if we have a couple different areas of business: the bakery, the winery, the farm part. So. If something needs a little little boost or a little change, um, I can see it as it comes and kind of evolve where we need to. So it's constantly changing, but always heading in basically the same directions. What do you find is your best seller in your bakery? Ooh, uh, that one is probably a toss up between chocolate chip cookies. Um, those are definitely a top seller. Um, we do a lot of things seasonally, so uh, in the fall, like apple pie is probably top. We do a lot of different apple based things. Um, pies? <laughs> I was kind of surprised at that one, but those are, we go through those quick. Um, those are probably the, the top three, I'd say.